Okay, now every guy will experience some kind of hair loss at a point in life, whether you like it or not. Mostly by the age of 35. Sorry for breaking the news to you guys, but then fortunately for you guys, we live in an era where everything and anything at all is possible. There are a lot of ways and means you can use to stop yourself from going bad. Personally, I've experienced some kind of hair loss before, that was like somewhere last year, and I applied this same method which has really helped me stop or delay the process. That's why you need to stick around, watch the full video, like the video and subscribe for me without wasting much of your time. Let's hop into right. it. So the first method you can use to stop yourself from going bald is by using hair supplements or food supplements. Hair supplements have become popular over the years because they have been proven to work. Supplements like biotin supplement is really good for hair growth. It has There are a lot of scientific studies around this supplement. That has proved the effectiveness of biotin supplements for hair growth. You can get this biotin in food like fish, eggs, and some legumes like beans and you can do a lot of research about it there are a lot of food you can get it naturally but then unfortunately most of us don't get enough of this vitamin in our food because we are not eating enough of it that's why you need to start taking supplements food supplements there are a lot of them out there when you search in the market you see a lot of biotin supplements just grab one for yourself and take it daily if you really want to stop yourself from going bald don't wait till it is too late to so start taking health supplements and it will really help you stop yourself from going bad. And the second method you can use to stop yourself from going bad or stop yourself from losing hair is by using drugs, oh yeah, be it orally or topical. And some of these drugs are phenextride and minoxidil. Oh yeah, there are a lot of people who have used, personally I have not used a phenextride before because i don't know where to get it especially where i am in this world i don't know whether it is easy to get it here but then i've used a minoxidil before which has really helped me so i can talk more about the minoxidil side of this case but then even the furnace right there are a lot of people who have said or who have testified that it has worked for them you need to take it orally but then with the minoxidil you don't need the oral one you need the topical one be it the liquid one or the foam one they all work you just have to start applying it twice a day that's morning and evening every single day you don't need to stop what you need to understand is it takes time especially with the minoxidil some people see faster results others too it's gonna take time it takes between three to six months for you to even start seeing results so when you start the most important thing you need to understand is patient and with the minoxidil what personally what i did in addition to the minoxidil is the use of a derma roller that's if you really want to fasten the whole process derma roller is a really great tool to add to the minoxidil um, usage yes you need to add derma rolling session to your routine which is twice in a week you don't need to use a derma roller every single day or like the minoxidil which needs to be used twice in a day that's morning and evening the derma roller you only use it twice in a week so yes add a derma roller to this drug that you are using and trust me if you are somebody who have lost so much hair you're going to start seeing regrowth on your head so get yourself a minoxidil and derma roller if you really want to stop yourself from going bad and another method you can use to stop yourself from going bad which is very expensive yes it, this this method is very expensive is a hair transplant and for those who don't know what a hair transplant is a hair transplant is the process of moving hair from one side of the body to another side of the body mostly the hair is moved from behind the head onto the scalp or wherever you want the hair to grow yes this is a method a lot of people are using to get their hair back but then you need to understand that this is a very expensive procedure like in turkey this is one of the most popular thing in turkey right now everybody around the world is going to turkey for a hair transplant yes and you know it's gonna cost you between um five thousand to ten thousand dollars in turkey not to talk of your transportation and your accommodation and all other expenses yes so this is very expensive but it gives you an instant result and there are a lot of people who have said that after getting the hair transplant they've not experienced any source of hair loss again so yes, hair transplant is also another method you can use to gain your hair back. That's if you can really afford it, go for it. But then if you can't afford it, stick to the cheap ones, which is the um, the use of a derma ruler and a minoxidil. It is very cheap, so stick to that one. But then if you can afford the hair transplant, why not just go for it? Because going bad sometimes is really bad. <laughs> 
And the last thing you can really do to prevent yourself from going bad is by reducing your stress level. Yes, you need to understand that stress is one of the most leading cause of hell loss in men. So try as much as possible to distress yourself because overstressing yourself will even fasten the process of you losing hair. So go out there and do something fun. Do whatever you like doing on your spare time. If it is gymming, go to the gym, go and lift some weight. If it is singing, if it is swimming, if it is hiking, just go and do whatever you can do to stop yourself from getting overstressed out because this will really fasten the process of losing hair. And one key thing I want you guys to understand is patience. Like they say, everything good doesn't come easy. So you need to have patience in the process. You get it. For me, it took me f about six months for me to be able to solve my issue. I started and at a point I nearly gave up because I wasn't really seeing the kind of results I wanted to see. But then I stuck to it. I kept going. And then by the time I realized everything was gone, you get it. So yes, you need to have patience, stick to the process and you're going to stop yourself from going bad. Nobody wants to go bad. And trust me, don't even feel bad about going bad. If you go bad, it's part of nature, man. Look around. There are a lot of handsome bad guys. For instance, The Rock. Yes, you can also look good <laughs> in your badness you just don't have to feel bad about yourself guys yes guys so this is the video i hope you guys enjoy it if you do let me know in the comment section if there is anything you guys want me to talk about as usual drop it into the comment section i'll be glad to attend to them i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys peace